When 81-year-old grandmother Pauline Wood came to us, she'd been trying to find her little brother Colin for over 50 years. And her search had a new urgency. She and her long-term partner Chris hoped to get married, but she wanted to have her brother at the wedding. Oh, look. When we do get married and Colin is there with her at that time, I think that will make her day, her life, complete. If he was in agreement, I'd, I'd get him to um, give me away. If, if that was... If, if that's relevant to somebody of my age, it would be wonderful. We took up the search, and after several months of scouring records, we eventually found Colin living in West London. But when I went to meet him, there was a surprise in store. Hello. Hello, Nick. Colin. I'm Colin. Hello, Colin. And this is my one of my sisters. Sandra. Sandra. One of your sisters? Yeah. Yes. I wasn't, Hi. I wasn't expecting this. It's lovely to see you. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. And you. Lovely to meet you, Sandra. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> I've just got to go over my little shock there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, don't know, I don't know where to start. So your mother never said a word. Never said a word. I know. I know. Mum told me years and years ago that she had a little girl and that she'd had this little girl adopted. But she was very upset. Why didn't you tell Colin, for example? Um, because it, it just seemed quite a close subject. I did know nothing at all until two weeks ago. It's, it's just... I still can't take it in. Oh, my... Colin and Sandra also have another sister who didn't want to appear on camera. So after a lifetime without any family of her own, Pauline had three full siblings. Hello. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Come in. And I was able to give her the good news. Your brother has been found. Yes. Really? It's wonderful. I've got a photograph. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness sake. There was someone that did know about you. Yes? Your sister. I've got a sister? You've got a sister. <gasps> Sandra. Good heavens. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Chris and I are thinking of getting married. <sighs> and then can all come to the wedding. Oh. Tell me all about it. My brother. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at his sister. My golly. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I've got a family. <laughs> I've got you. We told Pauline about her other sister and they arranged to meet privately. But first she travelled to London to meet Colin and Sandra in a pub not far from where they grew up. Absolutely wonderful. I found Colin, but I've got a sister. Sit down for a minute. Oh. Oh. I can't believe I'm staring at you. I can't yeah, I believe it. 
all these years. It's, it's just one of those things we've got to learn to live with, mm. isn't it? And get on with what, what we're going to do together. Oh, Christ, yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Got more news. I might get married. Oh, that's oh, lovely. Wow. I've got nothing to give me away. Well, I will. <laughs> Pauline, Colin and Sandra have been in each other's lives for almost five years now. Surrounded by the close family she's always dreamt of, Pauline is finally able to make preparations for her big day. That was like a maze up here, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's the right turn up here. Yeah, OK. Well. Today, the siblings are all meeting up at Sandra's house in Slough. Hello! I found the family that I always longed for. Lovely to see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been lovely. Hello, Began. Having a new sister. Worth coming all this way for that cuddle. It's nice to see her every time. I just want to put my arms around her. She is my flesh and blood. Got a <laughs> As a child, Pauline longed for a playmate. Oh, four. Four. And now she has two. <sighs> They've got that tremendous sense of fun. Well done, darling. <laughs> and I think it's rubbed off on me a little bit. Thank you. Yeah. We have a, a high old time together, you know, yak, yak, yak. <laughs> Domino. <laughs> oh, you devil. <laughs> Pauline and Chris have now set a date for their wedding. It's been fantastic being able to invite Colin and Sandra to my wedding, and particularly to have Colin give me away. Years ago, I wouldn't have even dreamed that I could write something like that to my brother. It's lovely the way things have turned out, isn't it? Definitely. Very exciting. When 81-year-old Pauline Wood asked us to find her long-lost brother, Colin, she dreamed that he would give her away on her wedding day. And today, that dream is finally coming true. To actually have Colin come today and walk me down the aisle, be my support, my brother and my companion, is absolutely fabulous. It's meant everything to me to have a... Have a a, a proper family. How are you feeling? Are you feeling nervous? Not really. Excited, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. Mm. Colin and Sandra have travelled from London to the Isle of Wight, where Pauline grew up, to be with her on her special day. Hello, beautiful lady. All right, sweetheart. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You do look lovely. She looks nice. No, she looks beautiful. I'm not very good at this lark. I never thought this day was ever actually going to come. No. It's a lovely day. She looks amazing. Oh, God, that's one. It's not very straight. Oh, dear. <laughs> Ooh, I'll lay a bit obvious. Turn around, darling, and I'll um, just buff your cheeks up a little bit. To have Colin on my arm and then to look down the aisle and see Chris waiting for me, be surrounded by family and friends, it was everything that I'd dreamed about. Morning, darling. You look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> so we begin by asking who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. Very good. I couldn't believe I was walking her down the aisle. But I was so proud for, for doing it. I'll never forget it. He just clutched my arm. I think he was probably more nervous than I was. <laughs> Chris, will you take Pauline to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her as long as you both shall live? I will. I, Pauline. Take you, Chris. Take thee, Chris. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. You may kiss the bride.
it just makes the entire family complete now. And to be a special day like this, <laughs> you know, on, on her wedding day, you couldn't get anything better than that, can you? Let's get the group shot. I'm going to get some next. Yeah, yeah. We're all it's just the bonding, getting better and better each time. It's lovely. I'm just so glad we're here. We're very close now, very close. I know we will be very happy for the rest of our lives. People that I've dreamt about as a child, uh, suddenly I'd got them there surrounding me on one of the most important days of my life. Yeah.